hey guys welcome to another lecture so today we will discuss tcp options in detail right so as we know that the minimum header length of tcp header can be 20 bytes and it can vary up to 60 bytes so the optional field data can you know can vary from 0 to 40 right so minimum header length would be 20 it could be less than or equal to 60 bytes right so minimum is 20 maximum could be 60 or it could be in between like 32 bytes something like that okay it will depend upon the optional feed what are all the options which are being sent by the tcp protocol right so <clears throat> Uh, you must be familiar with the you know certain options already present in the TCP field like uh, MSS maximum segment size then we have no operation then we have and uh, end, end of option list you know and then we have selected acknowledgement window scaling and TCP eco so these are some you know well-known uh, options available in the TCP field so we will discuss why there was a need to extend the TCP header and you know to add these optional fields uh, what was the bottleneck for the TCP protocol right so you know TCP was working well over a variety of internet paths ranging from the 800 megabits per second in input output channels to 300 bit per second dial up modems however there is still a fundamental tcp performance bottleneck for one transmission regime that is your high bandwidth and long trip long you know long round trip delays so the significant parameter is bandwidth that is bits per second and round round trip delay rtt in seconds so take it like this if you will increase the bandwidth of the link it will introduce more RTT for long distances and the amount of acknowledged data and it will you know uh, it will affect the TCP performance as well so the limitations to the current TCP over big fat pipe were window size limitation maximum size was limited to 2 raised to the power 16 and it is 65 KB so it is like this so if you see here the window size is 2 bytes that is 2 to the power 16 and it is maximum possible size of window is 65 KB so this was the big uh, challenge for the you know big fat pipes if you have high bandwidth so you can only transmit 65 KB information then you need to wait till you get the acknowledgement see uh, let's say you are sitting in India and you are transmitting to USA so so this information will go over over you know it will cross the countries and then the sender will wait for the acknowledgement to increase the overall throughput of the pipe you know we need to continuously send the data meanwhile we are receiving the acknowledgements right so this was the you know biggest limitation uh, earlier and uh, the second one was cumulative acknowledgements you know so any packet low any packet lost in big fat pipe uh, were having catastrophic effect on throughput due to tcp retransmissions and delays right and third one is your round trip timing so initially we were unable to calculate the exact rtt value hence facing challenges while retransmitting tcp packets okay so it was becoming very difficult to you know calculate the rtt value exact rtt value so to overcome these limitations tcp header has been extended to have window scaling selective acknowledgement and tcp eco options to you know overcome these limitations so we will first discuss window scaling option so you know with the help of window scaling uh, we have added 14 more bits to the window size so now it will make your window up to 1 gigabyte okay so now your window size will increase till 1 gigabyte and uh, 
your selective acknowledgement has been introduced to add information about the missing segments while acknowledging other you know received segment so that sender can specifically send the missing segment in the ongoing tcp stream so let's say this is your ongoing tcp stream this is packet 1 this is packet 2 this is packet 3 okay so when and this is your receiver it is receiving the stream so let's say it has received one it has received three but two got lost okay so earlier what tcp used to do is to retransmit packet starting from two then three right but with the help of selective acknowledgement while sending acknowledgement for one and three it will tell that i haven't received two so the sender will get notified that he needs to retransmit the seg TCP segment with value 2. Okay, so it will retransmit the second packet to the receiver. So it has you know improved the overall throughput of the uh, I mean of the TCP protocol. So the last last uh, improvement was TCP echo. So you know it has been uh, introduced to uh, allow the every segment to carry its own timestamp. This will allow every segment, including retransmissions, to be timed at negligible computational cost. So, what does that mean? You know, so earlier we were uh, calculating, uh, you know, we were taking rough averages to calculate the RTT and which was not even you know close to the uh, what what was the actual uh, parameters which are affecting the bandwidth you know like uh, there could be network congestion and everything there were multiple factors which were uh, affecting this RTT value so to overcome that what we came up with the TCP echo so TCP echo will timestamp this segment whenever they are transmitted so let's say uh, this sender will timestamp the first segment at uh, let's say t1 okay so now this receiver will timestamp the acknowledgement as t2 so rtt would be t2 minus t1 right so this is how tcp will get the exact information about the round trip time correct and okay so now other than to this we have uh, other options like no operation so no operation basically used to put a boundary in between you know multiple operations so you can see uh, whenever the tcp scene is uh, you know TCP sin is being sent by the sender so you would be able to see certain TCP options present there so you know to put a boundary in between different options we use no operation and end of option list means you know that is the end of the options and after that your actual data octet will start okay so maximum segment size means the sender will notify the uh, you know remote end that you know i can process a maximum this byte of data or you can say segment at at you know at particular instance so don't send me uh, other than this i mean don't send me more than this right so both sender and receiver will negotiate mss value at the time of tcp connection establishment and if they are not doing so uh, they can you know exchange any mss value right so that's it and if you would like to go more in detail so you can refer to rfc 1072 and rfc 793 is already there so you can refer to both rfcs and you know you can get more understanding of these fields in detail okay and you can post the comments if you have any doubt or query i'll try to cover them as well okay bye guys take care we will connect in next video